I got you, Russell. My goodness, if you've ever wondered what 13,000 people cheering for an eclipse in unison sound like, listen to this. Exactly 20 seconds to go to totality in Carbondale, Illinois. Less than a thumbnail left of that sun. Here we go. Totality. Here's a first alert I never thought I'd give. We have reached totality in Carbondale, Illinois. Unbelievable. The filter is now off the camera. Adam Randall working magic with the tripod mm. and focus and white balance. As we show you at the moment, the moon perfectly centered in front of the sun. So what you're seeing around the periphery of the moon now is what we call the corona. Just as Earth has an atmosphere, so does the sun. Typically, because of the brightness of the sun, you can't even come close to seeing it. Right now, in Saluki Stadium, 13,000 people are seeing it in a way they never have before and probably never will again. By the way, stars and planets are coming out. It is 360 degrees of dusk right now. It is a surreal scene. The only light I can see illuminating anything inside Saluki Stadium right now are the faces of people's cell phones hmm. looking back at them as they try to get a shot of what is, in the case of Carbondale, a twice-in-a-lifetime sight. And I'll tell you, as a guy that was standing almost in this exact spot seven years ago today, that was nothing compared to this. We had clouds obscuring the view, nothing but a few high, thin, cirrus clouds. Guys, I thought 2017 was impactful. This is incredible. It's just incredible. I wish I could tell you I could inhale right now, but I don't think there's an oxygen molecule left inside this arena because the air has been sucked out as people just, I don't know, I'm looking around and I think they're trying to find ways to express themselves and it's difficult. Your brain is literally processing something that for most of us, you've never experienced before. Yeah, Matt, and when that, that moment incredible. of totality was reached, it sounded like the Salukis just scored a game-winning touchdown. I mean, just the roar there and just uh, <laughs> very, very exciting there yeah. in Carbondale. It's a good way to put it. I think the decibel meter may have climbed even higher than that, believe it or not, with these 13,000 folks gathered here. And you just talked about really it. Really remarkable. Compares, uh, in comparison. Obviously, we talk, about the, we talk about wildlife sounds. In an arena setting like this, it's, it's just too loud. There's too much ambient noise to detect that. But uh, my photographer, Adam, and I did notice some interesting bird activity before we came through. Oh, yeah, and Adam's pointing at the viewfinder right now. Let me take a look. Almost looks like maybe... Um, so you're seeing two things. As I mentioned, the corona of the sun. But you see little brighter spots here and there. Um, you, you also see kind of some arcs and little plasma ejections coming from the sun. I, I, I'm seeing one kind of at, if you will, six o'clock down at the bottom of the sun. Part of that also is the moon, again, four minutes and nine seconds of complete totality here. Part of it is the moon now beginning to migrate, as you see it on your television screen, up and to the left. So very soon you may see kind of that secondary wedding ring image where suddenly there's a lot of brightness in the lower right hand corner of your screen. But my gosh, guys, I don't, words fail in a moment like this, they really do. It, it is, the sun is directly above us and yet we're in complete darkness. Wow. Never experienced anything like that before, really remarkable. You summarize it pretty well, Matt, for sure. We